Hey the berries, bringing you another roguelike actually. Um, been kind of addicted to this one as well. Some of you guys seem to enjoy the Against the Storm gameplay, which I'll still provide if you guys want that. Um, but I kind of also wanted to showcase this game as well. This game is like super cheap on Steam. Um, it is in early access, as you can see in the bottom right hand corner, we're only on patch like 0.16, but there's an awful lot of content um, being it so early. Uh, but it's only about four ish pounds on Steam. It's very, very, very cheap. But I've already played this game for. I have eight hours in already, so I've definitely got by far my money's worth. And um, I can do a little gameplay uh, session for you. Um, so currently I've unlocked almost all of the uh, the heroes. There's one hero that I'm missing and basically I need to win the game on each one of these heroes to unlock the final one. Um, but basically you do a run on one of these classes. Um, when you complete a run you get souls and then with the souls you can upgrade all sorts of these uh, these buffs which persist uh, throughout your gameplay so you get passively stronger every single run. Um, there's three main traits in this game. There is strength, agility and intelligence. So I'm going to choose a class that I haven't actually completed a run yet on. Um, so I haven't uh, won on the, the hero yet and the hero is actually the starting one that you get when you first play the game. Uh, you can see his stats so he's got two health, uh, zero spell power, zero um, armor points, uh, two magic points, um, two agility uh, on the uh, so when you press spacebar you can dodge in a certain direction and that makes you you can go through projectiles that way um, and these stats you get one 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 so one strength one dex one intellect um, and um, generally these classes start with something this one starts with a red dice which basically means I can change the uh, the affixes on the rooms um, let's uh, let's go play and I'll, and I'll try and show it off and hopefully you don't die too early. Uh, so one of the traits that I have is that I'm going to start with three keys. So you, your first run might be a little bit different. Uh, so at the top here, uh, the gold thing that looks kind of rude maybe. Uh, that's a pile of gold coins. N nothing uh, else. <laughs> uh, so you've got a pile of gold coins, you've got key and bombs and levels. So once you get affixes, so if you go into this intelligence store for example, we will get an extra bar. And when the bar fills up, you get to choose a new passive. Um, so our starting equipment as well, when I press F, we've got a magic wand. And that's it, we're basically naked. So let's go and focus on getting some, some intelligence then to make our uh, spells stronger if we acquire any and it will make the wand a little bit better as well. Because on the wand, if we I press F, it's got like dash dash D and the blue D indicates like the more intelligence I have the more damage that this apprentice one will do and we'll get more gear and things like that as we go on. So we haven't got any gold yet so let's go and get some gold from this room. I've been really really enjoying playing this game it's um been playing on stream a little bit over the past few days and um it's a lot of fun and pretty chill especially after you play like some league so let's go get some more intelligence. These crazy chicken things can be quite nasty when there's more than one of them. To eat the candy, so if we get one more affix, we can level up. So let's go get the strength. And sometimes, you know, even if you don't have like the uh, the affix that you want to get, it's sometimes worth just getting the random stats just to get the level up and get a nice little passive option. Um, so the red ones are to do with more with strength, the green ones are more to do with versatility, and the blue ones are more to do with magic. I've got a reroll here, so I'm actually going to just reroll. Let's see if we can get something blue. Ooh, the, this boozer one's really, really strong. So once we go to a tavern, we can buy beer, and each beer stack gives us 8% damage boost. Uh, usually that would only last about 10 rooms, uh, but now it would be permanent. So permanent um, damage boost is uh, something I am looking forward to getting. Uh, each beer, I believe, costs 10 gold, and you can only have uh, a tipsiness buff per red heart that you have, like red heart container. Let's get some bombs. So we could get two stacks of tipsiness with our uh, health right now. Uh, there's an event here. Let's go use our bomb to blow up this door. And he's got a... Precise a bubble wand, 10% crit on, a 
is definitely going to be um, a little bit more useful than what we've got at the moment. So let's take it and equip it. And I'm going to be firing all these bubbles. And I can see my mana in the bottom right hand corner. So it's currently got 20% damage boost as I use my bubbles in a in combat. This will drain down and if I pick up blue stars, I'll basically increase my damage that way. Uh, so let's go kill some things. You can see my mana at the bottom right hand corner draining down. Uh, also when you kill mobs, I believe you also get mana back too. Okay, I might be wrong about the uh, the killing mobs give you mana back. Uh, random accessory, random helmet. Well, we haven't got either a helmet or an accessory, so let's just go to the accessory route. And uh, we see Elise here. Spider Queen. So this bubble um, is almost like a shotgun. It's a lot of damage, actually. But you gotta get close. Very cool. Very easy. That was very, very fast, actually. 25% uh, uh, increased damage bonus from mana. Brilliant. So we're going to do more damage with that one now. Into the Boneyard. So we can sacrifice the heart here uh, in order to get a longer duration on this particular shrine, which is usually it's worth it. We put down to one red heart container, one blue. So the blue heart container is temporary. Uh, so once you lose it, that's it, that's gone. Whereas you can heal your red heart containers. So 30% movement speed. Uh, if I press C, that's going to last for 20 rooms. So it's going to last for a really, really long time. Uh, let's go get the dexterity point. Let's see if we can get a little bit closer towards a, uh, a level up. So this bubble wand was pretty good on the boss, but on this trash, it's not so great. It's not terrible, but it's there. We can do a lot better. Let's get another intellect. Just a little bit risky with the amount of health I've got, and then having to go quite close with this bubble wand. Don't want to get hit. Medium amount of gold in this room. I hope you guys don't mind me uploading you know, some different content. Uh, I've been enjoying playing a lot of different games over the league recently. Uh, let's go into the shop. So chocolate will give you two intelligence, but minus one uh, dexterity. Uh, this will raise my level by one. It won't actually give me um, like a trait level up, but it will give me like a bunch of stats. And these are actually reasonably cheap. So let's go and get the level up and the chocolate. So if we use the power gem, well that it does give you one bar though on your level up bar, even though I just said it doesn't give you traits. <laughs> uh, stops mana degeneration. When you attack at full mana, discharge charge all mana to deal massive area damage. I haven't used that one before yet. 50% more damage, but 30% less attack speed. Mm -hmm. 50 to damage over time. So we're going to take the, we don't have any dots damage over time at the moment. But generally when you're going into like these kind of intellect spells, there's usually some form of dotage that you can do. Um, so in this armory, there's three different types of weapons. Uh, Stormcloud looks quite good, even though it hasn't got the best intelligence on. Um, the arc staff as well seems quite interesting too. I kind of want to try it with the arc staff. I haven't used this before. Oh, very zappy. Uh, there's a tavern here. We can buy one beer. So remember earlier, we got the tipsiness stack permanent. So from the barkeep, we can buy one beer. And that will give us an 8% damage boost. So feeding tipsy, one stack, 8% damage boost permanent. Um, there's lots of other NPCs you can interact in. Uh, this guy will try and sell you a dice. Would you be interested in buying a red dice for 10 gold? I've already got two on me and no, I don't have any money. Uh, the wizard sells a magical bottle. I don't know what this guy does. Oh, he exchanges. You can sell your souls for gold, which we won't do. Let's go get some more intelligence. Oh, I see. So I kind of advance. That's actually really nice. I don't know how that's going to be on bosses, but it's some really good wave clearing. 
So the blacksmith, you can um, upgrade your armor if you had armor for free, if you lost some armor slots. Um, upgrading weapons cost 20 gold each, so I won't be going into that room. Um, so we're going to go get some more gold. Don't have to actually aim as well. I don't have to be accurate at all. Let's go grab ourselves uh, an offhand weapon, even though this is a two-handed staff. We might come across a wand later, a one-handed wand, and be able to use it an offhand with it. So this lightning staff um, is seemingly occasionally um, applying a lightning stack debuff on the mob as well. Which lightning basically means they take increased damage. I think it's 8% per stack. So yeah, as I thought, this isn't the best amount of damage on bosses. Need to pick up some more of those stars so we do a bit more damage. But it is chaining to those other adds quite nicely and getting rid of them. Uh, offhand, armor, yeah, we can't use that. But we'll pick it up anyway. Uh, random potion, grants bombs, let's get some more bombs. So this isn't too bad at all at clearing out rooms. Let's get another intelligence. We're gonna have a big brain for this one. The biggest degree. Yummy. So I don't know if you've noticed the theme with the uh, the stats, but generally meat is strength. Uh, vegetables are agility, and uh, chocolate and sweets are intelligence. I don't know if it's smart eating about this amount of uh, candy, but we'll find out. <laughs> so I've got like 1% damage boost. Now we're going to to 25 after picking up some more mana. Um, let's go get the beef. Don't need the strength, but uh, it will get us nearer towards that level up. Um, we can go into the tavern and pick up another uh, tipsy stack. Uh, sometimes so she can heal you. If I was missing any like health points, she would heal you for a little bit of money. Also, you can actually sleep with the uh, the the the, the, uh, the tavern owner's uh, sister in order to heal up the fault if she's in here as well. But uh, she's not here. We don't need her anyway. I mean, yeah. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> But if she, if she, if she, if she was there, she, she could offer those services to help us out. I mean, this weapon's okay. I feel like this power's starting to wane off a little bit. I'm ready for a weapon change, really. Let's get another soul heart, which is one of those blue temporary uh, hearts, heart containers. What I really like about this game is like each, like it grants a random magic weapon, we might get a good one here. But like each kind of like floor has its own theme and a theme of mobs and things like that. Okay. Yeah, we're not really doing a whole lot of damage to this. I think some of the boss mechanics as well is pretty cool. I think there's like two, at the moment there's two different bosses that you can fight per floor. It's just RNG which ones that you meet. So like on the first floor, if you remember we were fighting against Elise. You can also fight against an Alistair as well. I'm not having to really have to concentrate too much on aiming, but the damage, well, is, you know, kind of lucky. I'm just chipping away at this tree with lightning. What 
want to be standing next to that tree when lightning strikes. Oh, he's got like no HP. Very rude. There we go. Burp, burp. Uh, we got a Kugla Blitz wand. I mean, the damage on that isn't too exciting. Let's kind of see what it does, though. What on earth is that? I don't know if I want to use that, if I'm honest. It is one-handed, though, so you can use an offhand with that, quite interestingly. And the same with the bubble one, that's also one-handed. Um, let's go to a shrine that will give us a buff for 10 uh, floors, so for 10 rooms, sorry. We need 25% um, more attack speed. Uh, we need we need to try and obtain a stronger item, it's a stronger weapon, so I'm going to be on the lookout for that. Hopefully we can find something nice. Another level up. What do we have? We have 25% more damage with hits that inflict a status effect. 8% more damage dealt per soul heart you have. Your maximum health is then zero though. No. Potion effects are permanent. Okay, that's actually really, really strong. So we need to look in, out for some uh, potion rooms as well now. Let's go into this golden chest. Oh, what is this? I've not seen this before. Okay, let's just be careful. Okay, good. 15% increased ranged damage. I think, I don't know if that actually counts towards magic damage. I think that just means that the dexterity weapons, but I could be wrong. Um, there's a shop here. Let's go ahead in the shop and see what they've got. Dexterity for nine gold. Healing heart. I'm just going to take the dexterity. This is an easy little level up point. Uh, stuff for melee fighters or a key. I guess we'll just go get the key then. Even though we don't urgently need any keys. Let's get the rare equipment item. I mean, 3, three dexterity is quite nice if I ever like we're going into that. There's quite a lot of stats, but we've already got 11 intellect right now. And going into dexterity at this point would be too late. As you obviously, you know, as you progress and, and throughout the game, the game does get a lot harder. And if you don't get some decent RNG, it can get quite difficult. Oh, we've got these ice thingies permanently. Our right, armory. Okay, what have we got? A sliver wand inflicts poison and bleed. Okay. Um, did we pick up a trait where? Uh, yeah, we got plus fifty to damage over time abilities. So we got. When are we doing poisons? And bleeds the poisons deals 40% of infliction damage per second for four seconds stacks up to 10 times 25% more damage per stack and bleed deals 60% infliction damage per second for four seconds so oh, we're gonna be taking that and we're gonna be doing a lot of dot damage and it's a one-hander as well so we can actually use this um, armor shield so on the item it says attunement and to attune it, basically it means how many rooms that you've completed. So once we complete one more room, we'll have access to that our armor. That will be uh, next to our health bar. Um, let's go get... What kind of stats this is based on? E and e on dexterity and B on intellect. So grabbing three strength here wouldn't be super amazing. So I'm going to go for the treasure rock instead. I see, so these shots are kind of like oddly curved. Okay, I mean the damage with the the, the, the dots seem to be okay. Another event. Offer 20 gold to the goddess of sin. I don't know what that does. Oh, the goddess of sin has been has blessed you. You're immune to curses. So if you get hit by a blue projectile, you get cursed and your one of your red heart containers gets basically faded out. You can recover it by cleansing the curse. Uh, you, if you get hit by a green projectile, you get poisoned. 
Uh, both those uh, status effects are really bad, so unless you've got like traits that can work around it. Um, but generally you want to avoid getting hit by those projectiles in particular. Um, what accessory do you have? 25% increased damage from mana. I think I like that, so we're going to go for the gold option here. Actually, we can reroll. Random body armor, random magic weapon. Alright, I'm going to see if we can try and get a better weapon. I'm not too fond of this, like, snake-like thing going on here. But it is nice that it does apply those two debuffs. So, yeah, this is just dot damage happening onto the boss. Actually, the dot damage isn't even that bad. So we're trying to get those full stack of poison on, and it doesn't really matter if we don't end up hitting some of those projectiles. The dot damage itself is doing quite a lot. Should die in a second. Fantastic. That wasn't too bad. What do you got here? Um, a Bible? A in strength. A in uh, intelligence. Uh, unholy Bible. That, is that from like vampire survivors? That is that is hilarious because there's another game called Vampire Survivors, and that is exactly uh, what the, the I think I don't know if it's called the Holy Bible, but that is exactly what it does. I almost want to try it out because it's kind of funny. I'm going to try out for one room because it's kind of funny that this is in the game. There's a couple of weapons like that. There's like a Cloud Buster Sword in this as well. Wait, why is there a red dice on the floor? Let's go grab that. Let's get the bombs. Let's see what we do with this. Oh, this is... I mean, the damage is alright, but you kind of have to get it in that circle. And that's a little bit... It's a little bit oof. Let's go back to the snake. Let's see how that is in terms of clearing out the room. You know, with the Holy Bible, actually, we probably would have cleared out this room quicker. I wonder if we could use the Holy Bible for the trash mobs up and towards the boss and then switch to the, uh, the dot item. One strength, one dexterity, two dexterity, minus one strength, plus three strength. So no intellect here. Let's take the salad. And we'll take the burger to so get some easy like level up points. Don't want to lose too much gold there. This wand would be really good if the projectiles went through the target. Oh, another one of those power gems. I'm going to re-roll this room and see if we can find one that has po potions in. Oh, we'll take the intelligence in. We've got a lot of those red dice and so we need to start using them now and trying to find some things that we want to get. Ow. So we took a shield of damage and we can repair that if we come across a blacksmith. I can't hit this snake. There's a blacksmith there actually. Um, 125% critical hit multiplier. While in combat, drop a mana star. While in combat, drop a mana star on dash. So I guess that you can replenish your mana faster. Okay, yeah, I like that. Because if we're doing... If our damage is higher, I don't know if that, that affects the dots, but it probably does. I want to reroll this. Though. I'm, not, I'm not too bothered about losing one armor just yet. That, arm, that blacksmith's not going to move, is it? Cannot reroll special runes and fix rewards. Oh, okay. So we'll just go in here then. I kind of just wasted that one, guys. If you talk to the uh, the blacksmith, you can upgrade your weapon that you currently got equipped for twenty gold. Um, but I'm looking forward to trying getting another weapon, and I don't want to spend my gold. I'm gonna hold it out and be a little bit more greedy. A rare weapon. I mean, it's kind of tempting. Go on then. Let's see what we can find. And it could be from any class though, so it's extremely RNG if we do actually get a um, intelligent, intelligence weapon. 
What do we got? Ooh. We got some poison throwing concoctions. So we would lose the bleed, but the poison deals 100% more damage here, apparently. Can I have to reload the potions? Let's do that. That seems like it's going to be fun. So the poison damage is going to do a lot more damage. Uh, let's reroll. Any... Oh, lock chest that has loads of potions. Brilliant. So we have a trait that gives us permanent duration of potions, whereas they would only usually last a few rooms. So the fact that it's permanent is like can be ridiculously strong. There's lots of different potions here too. So random potion effect. Defy death one more time per room for three rooms. So that basically is going to make us invincible. Well, give us an overall life, essentially. Um, so we can pop the endurance potion. We can pop crit hit chance for 10%. That's going to be permanent. And whatever this ra rainbow potion is going to give us, which gave us a permanent increase of 20% movement speed. So yeah. You can see why that I like that potion uh, usage. Um, can I re-roll these rooms? A helmet. Yeah, I think we need a different helmet. This range damage, I don't think it affects this the magic. vulnerable into the center of the room. Let's just keep chucking stuff until it comes out. Fantastic. It's just little burning shadows around the room. I'm just going to try and hit them once or twice just to try and get rid of them. Ouch, I got hit. Got like a twitch player just chucking out poison. Gold mask, five gold found. I look very happy. Yeah, I think I don't think the range damage affects us. I mean, could be wrong, but I don't think it does. Oh, it's just throwing slash ranged on that. Oh, so that would have counted for the potions. Okay, so we're gonna use that still. The the cowboy hat because it's a safe throwing slash ranged on the concoction. So that hat, fifteen percent increased range damage, will work with this concoction. Uh, okay, let's go for a rare weapon. You can use the bombs if you want to to damage. Um, I can't get the shark off me. I used up one of my uh, temporary hearts. You can use your bombs to damage mobs. Uh, mechanical crossbow, not really interested in that. More damage over time, but then I lose the dot effects. Let's see what's in the shop. I've only got 20 gold though. Plus one armor helmet. Toad Plague Scroll. I don't have enough money, but that sounds fun. Don't think it's better than the concoction that I've got though. Uh, running low on keys, so let's go pick up some more keys. Having these sweaty things around me is actually really difficult to see when projectiles get quite close to me. Ooh, a lollipop. You know, I think in terms of like now, in terms of candy and sweets, I think lollipops are underrated. Like, people always think about chocolate bars and stuff, but I think lollies are actually pretty goated. What do you reckon? Strawberry lollipop. They sound pretty nice right about now, I think. Uh, let's go get some more gold. It's really tricky sometimes to see those blue zaps when they get close to me. Let's go get some bombs. Oh no, no more sharks. Okay, we killed it. If you don't have a Oh goodness, I've got one HP left. If I die, I will revive with one of my traits that I have purchased with uh, souls, which I've accumulated from playing the game. Uh, from playing the game. 
Alright, let's go for this obsidian chest. Oh, another shark. No. The sharks are a real pain in the butt to kill if you don't have a weapon that kind of like projectiles don't come out from you. Drop some gold when you take damage. <laughs> um, do I want that? Sure. Like, I'm actually just dropping money then. Like, I don't think it means from my own. Like, I'm, I, I will print money if I take damage, essentially. Let's get another soul heart, because I've only got one red heart left. Okay, and there's a boss fight coming up next. A little bit nervous. Uh, one heart container, I think, if we can kill this. So we're going to be fighting Neptune. So I have to dash on the other side of that wave throughout the entire fight. I'm not too happy with this um, the damage over time anymore. I was about to get hit then. So it's kind of lucky we hit phase two. But phase two on this boss is quite difficult. There's a lot of things to be watching out for. I'm struggling to get that many poison debuffs on this boss. And honestly, it doesn't really seem like poison's even doing any damage. I didn't have any dodges left. Okay. Bernie's got like 1 HP. Okay, I'll survive. <laughs> Alright, the gold armor is attuned, so if I take damage now. Um, I will drop gold. Let's go pick up these souls before I forget. Alright, we need to somehow heal. I feel like our weapon is not great. Got another red dice. I guess it's from the human, the class trait. Every time you get to a new floor. Rare weapon. Okay, let's go for it. Things are going to start getting a lot more difficult now. Not fully satisfied with my weapon and loadout. But we'll see what we can do. Candy scroll, 35% chance to gain sugar rush on kill, which gives you movement speed and attack speed. That would be like kind of terrible on bosses though, but I'm kind of interested in seeing what the uh, the candy actually looks like. That's kind of cool actually, isn't it? Um, let's go back to the concoction thing. Multiple potions. Okay, cool. So let's try and get some more um, passive stats with this potion. So we've got, um, we've got a few things here actually. In them. Let's just drop some stuff that I'm probably not going to be using again. So poison immunity, basically. One luck, which can give you better rooms, essentially, when you're going in. And I think it gives you better rolls when you open a chest. Uh, and increases attack speed by 15%. So all of these will be permanent. So immune to poison and curses. I've got uh, plus one luck forever and 15% more attack speed. Very cool. Um, I'm going to use... Yeah, I'm going to use a dice here. Right, a random potion. Let's just go into the random potion. I don't have a key to open that door. I thought using a now. Oh, I dropped a lot of money when I got hit there, actually. It's from the chest piece. It increases movement speed by 20%. I think we already have that one, so that's not actually going to do anything for us. Um, yeah, I thought using the red dice would potentially remove the door, but it doesn't. It's good to know that, that it doesn't. Uh, 
items in shop. Yeah, let's see if we can get some healing. What have we got? Volcanic Codex. It does a little bit more damage, but has no debuff, so I'm going to avoid picking that up potentially. Do I have any boots? I have no boots. So this boot, these boots would give me one armor after a tuning. These boots would give me 10% increased movement speed. Let's get the, the extra armor in them, but that won't kick in until two more uh, rooms. Upgrade weapon. I mean, we can repair our armor, so let's just do that. I'm not really overly keen on upgrading this concoction. Uh, let's go to the tavern. Oh, so the achievement, I think maybe you actually have to kill mobs, hit mob rooms in order for that to work. Well, we really, really need healing. So if we speak to this guy here, did you know the lady over there is the Tavern Keep sister? She's got unlimited access to the Tavern Keep special, secret special ale. That's tough slaps. <laughs> and she tells some really funny jokes. No headache either. Somehow it's really refreshing. For 20 gold, we'll spend a night you'll never forget. Let's go. Very well, I'll be right back. What a night. Can we keep what happened last night between us? I'm sure you understand. Yes, don't tell anyone. Oh, and we have a um, potion set over here. Potions are. I need your strongest potions. My potions are too strong for you. But I'm going into battle. I need your potions. So you can buy half potions of this guy for 10 gold. So I'll buy two of those. <laughs> so the other NPC is not too happy because uh, he's selling potions to me and not to the other guy. Uh, oh, so this witch actually here, you can upgrade your weapon for 30 gold and that can be really, really good. Uh, we didn't have enough money, but um, I wouldn't want to enchant this. I'm still looking for a better weapon than this concoction. We have no bombs to break the, uh, the petrified horde, so let's just go take the souls. Oh, you know what I could have done? I just, I just realized an owl got hit. Could have maybe have potentially got a tipsiness stack as well because we've got permanent tips tipsy stack, but and we've got three hearts, so I just missed out on a potential eight uh, damage. Alchemist stash multiple potions, but I think we've already got pretty much most of the potion buffs. But let's get this curse. We're immune to curse, uh, so this will do nothing to us. I mean, then we get a permanent shrine effect, which sounds good to me. Oh my goodness, how do I not get hit there? Permanently increased attack speed by 10%. Actually, it wasn't like a damage increase, but it will do. I can re-roll this if I want to. Let's re-roll. Big bag of gold or random ranged weapon. Let's get the big bag of gold then. It's, it's lagging. He's mad. That's getting hectic. I think if this is bad, then get ready for phase two. <laughs> phase two. I can't even get any of my poison debuff stacks in this dragon. Okay, well I got hit. Can I get closer towards the boss? Whereas the other times are definitely intended to get hit there, just for the gold, of course. <laughs> On the floor eight. Halls of Agony, and rightly so. Um, let's re-roll, see if we can get something a bit more interesting. 
a locked chest that contains a rare weapon. And I feel like, ow. We are definitely going to need a damage increase soon. If I take one more hit of damage, I'll revive. But that would be my last... Oh no, I've got the potion that also defies deaths, actually. So, we might be okay. Oh, so we've got these health potions. Maybe we should just drink the health potions. Let's drink the health potions. I don't know why I didn't. Well, we had those. Terrible magic, though. So we won't be picking that up. Uh, and we can repair our shields, too. Thank you. For 60 gold, I could have potentially have upgraded this. Ow. Oh, I don't have a dash. I don't have enough energy to dash. Uh, I could have upgraded the uh, this potion at plus 3. Which is the soft cap. You can actually get bypass that, but that requires other means. Which I'll let you find out yourself, unless you come across it. Now. Lollipop. Got them. Mm. I will say that this is the most amount of gold I've had in a run for though. Like holding 160 gold is definitely by far the most. And the chest piece is definitely to thank for that. Alright, we just need one more level up point. What is this? Deadly Rainbow Staff plus one, so it's already been upgraded. It has all the different elements on, by the looks of it. And fix all elemental status effects. Ooh. Let's give it a go, shall we? So it's two-handed, so we don't get the armor from our shield. Whoa, rainbows. Let's give it a go, yeah? Uh, let's get some more bombs. Oh wow, it like, apply yeah, it literally applies all of them. Burn as well. How oh, crazy. So it's doing frost, which slows them down. Burn, which is another damage over time, I believe. And the poison. This is very crazy. The damage is like is is okay, but <laughs> it's just cool shooting rainbows. Uh, twenty five percent more damage when fighting exactly one enemy. Infusion effects are permanent. Okay, we'll take the infusion effects are permanent. So I don't think we've come across any just yet, uh, but they're kind of like the same as potions essentially, but generally last a tiny bit longer. They can also do like elemental debuffs and things like that too. I just realized if we got this rainbow staff then we don't didn't need the infusions actually because this is already doing the all the elementals. Hmm. Maybe that was a mistake taking actually then. Uh, let's go for more souls because I really like my accessory anyway. This guy is really really difficult. But we're doing alright actually, this staff is really good on bosses. Just because of the debuff. Oh, he's right next to me, I didn't even see him spawn. Ow, I got it. Okay, there's many things happening right now, and um, that was undodgeable. Probably killed him. Fantastic. So I think we're on floor nine. Yeah, so that staff's pretty good on the boss. But I do have concerns about the trash mobs. Because the trash can be pretty deadly in these rooms, as you can see. Fire, actually. 
You know what this um, stuff reminds me of? Anyone in the UK? Those Robinsons um, multicolored ice lollies? <laughs> it almost looks like one of those. Oh, I don't have a key to open this. So you can use the bomb, but you don't get like the rewards. You get like minor stuff instead. Um, I don't want to pay any blood to open this door. Let's re-roll. Let's go for the candy. I've got a bomb to open that. And the weapon, yeah, I think the weapon's usable. It's it's fine. It's not it's not terrible. Being chased by this thing. Go away, please. Three intelligence. Intelligence, and then we'll get to level up again. Alright, let's see what we get. We hit the maximum level, so we can't get any. We can still level up, I believe, but we can't get any more of these passives. Again, it's so hot when you defeat a boss. Well, we're basically nearly done, so there's no point getting that one. 34% um, more damage, but we take one more heart when we get hit. That doesn't sound very healthy. Let's go for the plus two mana, because I maximum mana, so that will increase our mana at the bottom right hand corner. And um, that'll help us do a bit more damage, especially when our mana bar is full. Going into the intelligence, we still get like stat boost from that, even though we're not going for the panel. <sighs> we hit twice? No. Okay, we need to be kind of careful. I will get that revive still. Let's get this key. I've got loads of money. Well, I can't use the blood chest because I'd have to pay one health, so we just randomly get the, the three strength, I guess. Random magic weapon. Okay, got them. So this is the mind flamer, not the mind flare. It's actually quite easy considering he's like the second from bot last floor. I don't think I've ever died on this guy, but I mean, and that attack looks way worse than it actually is. You can just keep moving. I got hit though. <laughs> <laughs> of course, when I DM, of course, every time. Weapon is presented to us the Dark Wizard Staff. It does a lot of damage though, but it doesn't do any afflictions. What? Okay, I just want to try that out. For the, at least it'd be good for the trash mobs at least, anyway, leading up to the last boss. If we can make it, we've only got half the health. It's quite a decent amount of wave there, isn't it? Let's re-roll this, actually. Yuck. 
That's not really what I wanted. Um, I don't need any more gold and I don't want to use a key to unlock that door. So we'll use this to clear out the trash and then we'll switch out to the rainbow things for the um, for the boss. souls from this. Random infusion, finally. We do have permanent infusions, but that doesn't really matter at this point now anyway, because uh, if we were to use an infusion without the permanent buff at this point, we would um, we would have had enough time for the boss anyway. So we're going to get lightning infusion no matter what, so this stuff will now start applying lightning debuff. So that means that the uh, they will take I think it's 8% more damage per stack, so 23% more damage pretty quickly to be honest. Another infusion. So I mean at this point we could just use this. So it does fire debuff now. So that, yeah, so we could just use this staff instead of the rainbow one because we were already applying like half the affixes as the that's the, uh, the other one anyway. 500 souls, 46 gold. Well, because I've got a bajillion gold, we'll just take that anyway. Plus one stamina for 10 rooms. We'll take that and we'll just eat that now. Three random rewards. What do we get? Some bombs and a key, I think. Upgrade. Yep, let's fully upgrade the staff. And repair. So we're going to upgrade this. So just to have a compare the stats, I'd be interested to know what the stat comparison is. So it's doing 200 to 250 damage. So if we upgrade it to plus three. So 260 to 325. So it should be a sizable damage increase. Um, right, well, this is the last boss. As I know, at least anyway for now. Choose a random helmet then. And this is death. Our time has come. We need to die. We'll, we'll see about that death. Let's see what we can do. And so far we're doing alright. This stuff's doing a lot of damage. Oh, I walked right into that laser. Okay, death is not too happy. This is looking a little bit iffy. But we did it. and 10% increased dot tick rate so that would have been amazing but if you don't want to find out about spoilers then you might want to switch off now I'll do a little outro now I hope you guys enjoyed the content I'll be uploading some more tiny uh, rogue stuff uh, and instead of like talking about in-game mechanics and stuff I'll probably just be chatting more about my like, real life stuff and about my day and, and how the streaming is going and stuff like that um, so yeah, so close now if you don't want to find out what's through this door, okay? If you want to find out for yourself. Okay, we're going to go in now, okay? Okay. So we're walking down this tube. <gasps> Wait, I... Okay, right, this is actually... If you haven't cut now, and you don't want to be spotted, I don't... Even I don't even know what's through that door. Usually you die when you go through this corridor, okay? I've never been through this door before, okay? Just to make that clear, okay? I'm very excited. Whoa, what is this? Take a sip of Ica. Yeah, go on The game was taunting me. No. Well, there you go. Maybe don't drink the magic sauce. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, I'll be uploading some more of the 
against the storm more tiny rogues and more other stuff um i really hope you guys enjoyed the different type of content i've been enjoying playing this stuff and um i look forward to bringing you another video tomorrow it might be league it might not be so uh, we'll see take care guys all the best bye